Interesting and scene with a little festive music. <laughs> because we've got festive weather. What is happening? Hey. I'm not the most festive person. I don't Everyone know. knows that. <laughs> the Grinch over there. That's what no, we're music. I'm, not, I'm not the Grinch. It's just this music. <laughs> we're like, like a, kill the it's like a searing. Music. It's like a railroad spike in your brain every once in a while. Well, listen, you, you got just have more you days. have to be in the mood yeah. for Christmas music. Ten days away, see? I know, I know. You're not there yet. I can't, I can't hold it back okay, anymore. Okay, cut the music. Jay. Can't hold it. I know. You They're just going to keep it. driving me insane. Yeah. Like, all right, let's go out to the currents. Maybe because it feels like Christmas, right? Uh, is the word for it. It's only going to be in the mid 50s right now. 56. It looks like that's going to be our high today. That's about nine degrees off the average for this time of year. A little warmer out there in Mesa at 59 degrees, 54 in Deer Valley outside over at Sky Harbor. Let's check humidity and dew points. Yeah, they're pretty low. That's why it was pretty cold. That's why there was some frost out there. Some leftover moisture winds out of the west southwest at six under partly cloudy skies. Now that's going to play a role in tomorrow's lows. I'll show you that in a second. 37 in Flagstaff, 31 at the Grand Canyon. So it's still pretty cold up in the uh, high country for the state of Arizona. That is 36 in Sholo, 40 in Winslow, 56 in Tucson. Still pretty warm in Yuma. They've been consistently in the lower 60s and Flagstaff actually over the last 24 hours has made a six degree bump up. Remember I talked about those clouds. Here they come from Southern California. That's going to act like a little warm blanket to keep the temperatures closer to the surface. So we're going to have a little bit of a warmer morning tomorrow. Yeah, in fact, there it is on Futurecast through 5 a.m. They're going to get a little spotty, especially for the Northern Valley, but I think it's going to be temperatures in the upper 30s, low 40s instead of the mid to lower 30s like we've had the past 48 hours. It's going to be a nice clear night on Friday. Now Saturday, the Verbo uh, Fiesta Bowl Parade, we are first alerting for very cold temperatures because it looks like the clouds are going to be just south of the valley during the coldest part of the morning. So it is going to be in the mid to lower 30s in some locations. And then we're going to have some pretty cloudy skies on Saturday. As far as long range, there goes that low that's been kind of spinning up there in the uh, northern plains. Cutoff low kind of weakens by the time it comes across on Sunday. I don't see any sort of rain or snow or anything like that. But what I do see st starting towards the middle of next week is high pressure is building in. And oh, by the way, travel forecast for Christmas looks great out here, looks horrific back east. Just plant that seed in your mind and we'll keep following that. Here's the next three days up in the high country, also along the rim. Not bad over in Pine Top and Heaver. Temperatures all the way to 40, possibly by Sunday. And a little bit warmer along the river as well, right up to about 60, 62 on Sunday. And here's your first alert seven day forecast. So we have that freeze watch like we talked about at the top of the uh, newscast in effect midnight through 9 a.m. on Saturday morning. And then it looks like a nice dry weekend. And look at that. How about that? We're warming up maybe past normal by the end of next week. I think we could all use some warmer temperatures, so <laughs> yeah. we will take right. that. I know. Yet I'll take least. that over yeah. the Christmas music. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Scene. <laughs>